Hey guys, what's going on? Anatoly here from Define Agile, where we talk about Jira. And today we're going to talk about how to create a second board in Jira. And for this, I really want you guys to have a classic project because it doesn't work as a next gen project. That is why I have a beef with next gen projects because they don't have this feature, which I think is amazing. Let's say I have two different teams. One is a design team and one is a development team. And you want design team to do their own thing to create their own stuff in their own way, maybe Kanban, and your development team is doing Scrum. It happens all the time. So, how do we do that? Well, I have this Scrum project, it's my developers are working on this, but I also wanna create a new board, which will be a Kanban board in a Scrum project. Sounds crazy, we're gonna do it anyway. So I need to go to the board, minus MTS board, and then I need to click on create board. Here's ask you. Kanban board, Scrum board, you can create any, but we might be make sense to create a Kanban board. So let's create one. A board created in a new software project, board from an existing project, board from an existing saved filter. You also can create a filter and then create a board based on this filter. So I wanna have an existing project, this project to have a board, click next. So now it asks me the board name and the project. The board name will be a designer board. Then I click create. Okay, so the boards are just filters for the statuses. So since I have lots of stuff on to do in progress and done, it will pick up everything. What if I don't want to do that? What if I have, wanna have my own statuses for designers, not related to developers whatsoever in the same project? Again, sounds crazy, we're gonna do it. Click on board settings. Click on uh, columns. Now look, I have all those columns. What if I don't want those columns? I wanna have my, um, I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't want this. I don't think you can delete that one, but uh, let's add a column. Let's call it in design, which is in progress, add. It's already created status for me. Now you can delete done because it needs to have one. You can have in design. Then you can have uh, in review. Make sure that they're unique, I guess. In design, then I have in review. And then I have ready for developers. And this is my board. If I go to my board, see, we overlap the status because I think the other board has in review as well. And that's why, um, that's why it didn't work because this one has in review status. But let's say we want this to be totally unique. So let's go back to our designer board. This is how you can go to it. So we're in the same project, we have a designer board. We don't like this. We go to board settings, we go to columns, we get rid of this, we put it in, uh, unmapped, and then we add status in design review. Okay, so this in design review appears here, put it here. So now if I go to, um, yeah, it's in review, that's fine, in design review. So if I go to back to my Kanban board, so this is your designer board. Let's say you want to put issue to it. Maybe you need a backlog. Let's go create a backlog. You just say, um, drag a status here to enable backlog. Everything needs to do will be our backlog. So the backlog appeared. We have our own backlog now, okay? So my designer issue is the one I want to put in uh, design. So I just put it in design. Boom. Now we go to my Kanban board. Here it appeared in design. See, that works that way. If you wanna have when it's ready for developers to be completed, well, you can go to board settings. Just wanna set resolution and then it will, it's green, it will be done. So here I am, here's my design board. It's totally separate from developers. You see developers can still do their sprints and stuff, everything, everything is here. So they don't see that. They might be able to see it in the backlog, but I don't think it will. As soon as you move it to a board, it will not appear on a backlog at all. 
does not appear in a backlog at all. So if I go back to my designer board, if I go to Kanban, I put it in review, ready for developers, boom. Nothing like we can go with the flow as a designer separately without even touching. If we want them two of those things to touch, if you wanna, when you move it here, it appears on the other board. The way to do that would be for MTS5 board to have the same status. So this won't be to do, this will be ready for development. And if it matches the same status, this design thing will appear here automatically from one board to another. How crazy is that? It's pretty crazy. Um, yeah, this is a short overview how you can create two boards and hopefully it helps. Please, if you have questions, put them in the comments down below. If you wanna learn cool stuff, advanced stuff, go to uh, the link below and learn it because I'll teach you Jura in a single day. If you're confused, please let me know, leave comments, and I'm looking forward to the next video and to talking to you guys. See you next one. Bye-bye.